A Quiet Place is directed by John Krasinski, yes, Jim from The Office, and centers on this family that are trapped in the small town where these creatures have them surrounded. These creatures have decimated much of the world's population by attacking anything that makes a sound. So the people that have survived have to rely on sign language and other means of communicating to avoid being killed by one of these creatures. Now I was really excited for this film, all the previews just looked terrifying. And you have Krasinski co-starring in a movie with his real life wife, Emily Blunt, who is just one of the best actresses working today. The trailers did a really nice job of setting things up and giving you an idea of the premise without revealing too much and I am so glad that they did, as it leaves so much to surprise while also being satisfying with what the trailers are selling you. Paramount released this film and for a studio that has released some pretty ballsy movies recently like Mother and Annihilation, you have to give them credit for being able to put out a film like this where you have to trust that the audience is going to be focused on the story and not be talking throughout, as this film lives on its sound design and hoping that you're paying attention. So for Paramount I think this risk is really going to pay off for them. As in my screening everyone was glued to what was happening and was paying attention. The audience was buying every second of the movie. Which is pretty incredible when you consider how fidgety people are at the cinemas these days. Where someone is checking their phone every 5 seconds. But no, everyone was invested. If you can keep people focused and quiet for 95 minutes, your movie is a win. The entire cast, John Krasinski, Emily Blunt, Millicent Simmons as the daughter, and Noah Jupe as the son, all primarily rely on sign language to communicate in this movie. Very rarely speaking any dialogue. Millicent is actually a deaf actor and taught a lot of sign language to the cast and crew, which is just so much better than having some actress pretending to be deaf. The movie just would not have felt right otherwise. The times when the movie does allow for some moments of dialogue is welcome, but I actually found the movie more investing when everything was quiet and I was relying on the subtitles, which is generally the case when you are relying on subtitles with a film, where you just end up being far more focused on what's actually happening. The movie is a tour de force in sound design though, and I can see this movie being used in film schools to teach students about creating tension and suspense through sounds, as the sound design is the lifeblood of this movie. Without the little gasps, creaks or silence the movie just does not work and would come off cheesy. The creatures in this movie are absolutely terrifying. I like that we know just enough about them to just go, yes these things are dangerous, here's why we should be scared of them. And anytime one of them is on screen, you're just on the edge of your seat waiting to see what this thing will do. I am glad that they don't drag out revealing the monsters, you know pretty early on. The movie decides to use them scarcely and as something to dread when they do appear, which I thought was very effective. Some things in the movie are a little telegraphed, where a character will be near an object that you just know is going to cause some sort of sound, or it will be important to the plot in a few minutes, so things can be a little obvious or predictable at times. The one major issue I have with this movie involves a scene where water is flooding up a room. Prior to this scene, the characters have been very careful in being prepared, but this moment felt like a major oversight and was a dumb horror character moment for me. Other than that, everything comes together the way it should, and I found the ending really satisfying. There are some jump scares in the movie but most of them are integral to what's happening and didn't come across too cheap to me. The movie has that usual gritty post-apocalypse look to it but it all looks beautiful especially during the night scenes where a lot of low lighting is being used. The creature designs work great within the world and I'd love to see more of them if a sequel is ever made. To me this is the don't breathe or get out of 2018. A really smart inventive horror film that takes a lot of risks within the genre and I think a lot of people will be coming back to this movie in the years to come. Safe to say I think everyone will be wanting John Krasinski to come back and direct more horror after this movie. A Quiet Place gets an 8 out of 10 from me. Guys, I hope you like this review. If you want to see more reviews just like this one, stay right here for your monofix. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.